Hi, in this video we are going to discuss about what is bug life cycle or defect life cycle. In the previous video we have seen how to raise a bug, what are all the mandatory fields required for us in order to raise a bug. Okay, you, you have raised a bug for example with the status of new. Whenever you raise a new bug, the status you need to put it as new. Okay, after that how the bug will go on different phases until closing of that bug that is nothing but a bug life cycle what are all the different phases will be there in order to close a bug from testing end okay so how the development people know you have raised a bug how you know whether they have fixed it or not these all things usually happen in the tools the different tools will be there you can assume bugzilla testopia testlink or quality center or alm application life cycle management so many licensed tools also there, TFS we can use it. So these all tools, you are going to have it. Based on these tools, everybody will log, uh, they, they are having their own credentials to log in into these tools. Whenever they log in and they can able to see what is the status of that particular bug. So that is how everybody will understand what is the status of your bug. Okay, so the, the, these are all the things we are going to discuss in this video. You can see here one diagram I'm going to show you. This is the diagram. See here, once you opened a bug, the status is what? New. Once any bug is opened, the development team is going to verify whether it is a actual bug or not, whether it is a valid bug or not. Okay, so then they will verify it. Once they treat it is not a valid bug, it is not as per the requirement, then they may reject the bug then they will change the status to rejected okay that's fine once they accepted it they need to change the status to open they will change the status to open and they will update it means that they accepted that bug now we can call that bug as a defect and open bug it means that development team is working on it they are working to fix that particular issue okay once open then whenever they fix it they are changing the status to fixed okay fixed issues are pending from testing team whenever they change the status to fixed it is pending from testing side we need to retest it okay we are going to retest it if everything is working fine we will close that particular bug we will close that particular bug if everything is working fine then there is no issues from testing side we will close that particular bug if not working see this flow if not working what we are going to do again we will send it back to the development team saying that this issue is not working according to the requirement it means that it is not working according to the requirement then in that case what we are going to do from testing side we are going to change the status to reopen we will change the status to reopen it means that that bug we have retested but it is not working according to the requirement hence we are reopening the same bug it means that at the time of when when they accepted accepted it they changed it to open once we retested and it is not working then we need to change the status to reopen and reopen bug again the development team need to work on it again they have to fix it again same procedure once they fixed it again we will verify everything working closed if at all it is not working again we need to reopen the bug until the closing of your bug the same process will follow out this is the bug life cycle we used to follow in real time now you may get it out all these things where it will happen it will happen in the tools whenever we are rising we will put a status new developer will log in what are all the new bugs are there they will verify while logging in they will search with new status they can able to see all the new bugs they will verify one by one if they think that okay it is a valid bug then they will change the status to the in the tool to the open once we logged in we can able to see all the open bugs and all the rejected bugs when they fixed it they will change it to fixed you can log in into the tool you can verify what all the fixed bugs are there those you need to retest and once everything is working you will close it then developer team also will log in into that tool and they will verify what bugs are closed what bugs are reopened so this is how the bug life cycle process will have going on see sometimes what will happen you know 
Sometimes the closed bugs also may get reopened. In sprint 1 the bug is fixed. Sprint 2 again you tested same functionality. Sprint 2 it is working fine. Then you close the defect. Sprint 3 again you tested same functionality. Again same bug may arise. Then that time what we are going to do? Already one bug is there in closed state. Again same bug is coming. Then you should not raise a new bug again. You need to reopen the existing closed bug. So that is how the bug life cycle will happen. So this is about the complete bug life cycle, how, what are all the different statuses are there, how it will go on and everything. You can see here, let me brief you, when you raise the bug status is new and then development team is going to verify that. Once they feel that it is an invalid bug, they will reject it. Once they accept it, then they will change the status to open. Open bugs are pending from development team, they will fix it. Again, we need to retest it. If everything is working in our retesting, then we will close that bug. Else, we are going to reopen the bug and send it to the development team. So, this is how the bug life cycle process will go on. Okay. So, any bug you want to, uh, until close, until starting to close, the same steps we have to follow. This is completely bug life cycle flow. Okay. So, that's all for this video. Thank you so much.